All right, welcome back. In this video, we're just going over another example on how to draw a Gantt chart when you're given a table of dependencies. So in this table of dependencies, we have all of our activities, A through I. We have the predecessor relationships, so which activities have to finish before these activities can start, and the duration in days. So to get started, let's just start at the top. We see that activity A, B, and C have no predecessor. So they're going to start at the very beginning of the project, all of them. And uh, let's just start with A here. So activity A is two days. So we start literally at zero and we count over two days like this. All right, activity B is also starting at zero and it's three in duration, three days. So it's gonna come over one, two, three days, just like that. And activity C also starts at zero because there are no predecessors and it's just one day long. Now for activity D, D depends on A. So A has to finish before D starts. So we find where A finishes and it's going to be at the end of the second day. So we're gonna find that point, we're gonna come down to D and this is where D is going to start and D is two days. So we'll go over one, two days. All right, uh, next up we have activity E. So E can't start until A and B are both finished and it's four days long. So A is going to finish here at the end of the second day and B is going to finish here at the end of the third day. It can't start until both of those are finished. So E has to start here at the end of the third day or really at the beginning of the fourth day. And it's going to be four days long. So we're gonna count over one, two, three, four. The same thing is going to be for F. F depends on B and C. So F can't start until B and C are both finished and it's a duration of one. So B here finishes at the end of the third day and C finishes at the end of the first day. So clearly we can't start until both of these are done. It's going to, be have, it's going to have to be after the end of the third day or really that's the beginning of the fourth day. And this one was just one day long. So it's just gonna come out like that. All right, let's do the same thing for activity G. It's three days long and it can't start until D, E, and F are all complete. So let's draw those right on. So D finishes here at the end of the fourth day. Uh, activity E finishes here at the end of the seventh day. And activity F, well, it also finishes at the end of the fourth day. So activity G can't start until all of those are done. So that's going to be after the end of the seventh day, or basically at the beginning of the eighth day. And this was three days, so when two, three. Activity H only depends on activity F and it's five days long. So activity F here finishes at the end of the fourth day. So that's where we're going to be picking up for activity H. And it was for five days, sorry, one, two, three, four, five days. And activity I is three days long and it can't start until G and H are both finished. So H is finishing here on the end of the ninth day. G is finishing here on the end of the 10th day. So it can't finish until both of those are satisfied. So it's going to have to start here after that point or in the beginning of the 11th day. And it's gonna come over one, two, three days, just like that to wrap up our project. So now that we have the Gantt chart drawn, we can actually see that the duration of the project is going to be 13 days, as long as nothing goes wrong. Like that's the expected duration. And that wasn't apparent to us when we looked at the table of dependencies, which only gives us the individual durations of each activity and their relationships, but not actually the project duration or the general flow here. So now you could look at this and you can kind of look from left to right as you go across and get an idea of when activities are starting and finishing throughout the project. Now, I did another video on this exact same project, but drawing the network diagram and finding the critical path. So if you're interested in that, the video is up on the screen and uh, you can check that one out as well.